Hello teachers, today we will see how we can collate the attendance for all the lectures we have taken online. For this we log into our Bhavan's ID, the site where we have taken the lectures and where the forms are all available and we go to forms.google.com where all our forms are visible like in my case so I have taken lectures on 17, 20th, 21st and so on. Uh, so all these are the forms which are filled by the students. Now for collating the attendance what we first need to do is we will open the first form. Now so we open this form. Now in the first form you need to go to responses. Now in responses you click on the three dots that is coming here next to the green. Not on the green but on the three dots. You click on this and here there is an option which says select response destination. So you click on that. When you say this it asks you whether to create a new spreadsheet. Now this is the first time we are doing it so we are going to create a new spreadsheet but we will change the date and we will give it a different name because suppose if you are doing it for the entire month so you can say July 2020 uh, and this is the uh, you know the name the rest of the name. I am going to leave it like that and click on create. So once I do that my form will be linked to this particular spreadsheet. Okay, so then I can open that spreadsheet by clicking on that green button and these are the responses of my students for 17th of July. So we leave it like this. One thing that we can do here at the moment is at the bottom where the form name sorry for the, where the spreadsheet name is appearing we double click on it and give it the name of the day when the attendance was taken. So in my case 17 July 2020 and I hit enter. Then we go back to the form and from here you can press the back button. The aim is now to open the second form that is the next day's lectures attendance. So that was 20th July so I click on 20th July. Come to the responses section and come to the three dots here again in 20th July. Here we will again select on select response destination. And this time we will not create a new spreadsheet that was to be done only once. Now we will select the second option that is select existing spreadsheet and click on select. Now what we are trying to do is we are trying to collate all the attendance into one file. So this is the file that we had just created July 2020. So we click on this and click on select. So it is linking this particular form also to that spreadsheet and if the spreadsheet is open there in another tab you will see that another uh, you know sheet has come up right next to 17 July and you click on it you will see this is the attendance for 20th July. So it is a good idea to immediately double click on the name of the sheet and change the name of that sheet to the date on which you took attendance. So that is 20th July so I write the date and click on enter. We come back to 20th July form, click the back button. Here we will now open the next sheet. So 21st July, click on responses, click on the three dots, select response destination and then select existing spreadsheet and click on select. Now again we will select July only because we want to add a new sheet there in the same file. We click on select and if July is already open like it is in my case you can see a third sheet has got added. If you click on that sheet you will see this is attendance for 21st July. I am going to double click on the name and change the name of this particular form to 21st July 2020 and hit the enter key. We come back to the form of 21st July, press the back button and take the next spreadsheet or the next form. So 21st July I took a lecture also and I also took a test on separate times. So I am going to click on this. I will show you one more time how it is done. Click on the form. Then when the form was opened you click on responses and in the responses you click on the three dots here next to the green button and select the option which says select response destination. Here you click on select existing spreadsheet and click on select. From the options 
you select the form that you just created so July 2020 and click on select so you can see a new sheet has got added here you can click on it and see the contents this was just a test so I just took attendance for the test this is 21st July test so I'm going to just double click on this change the date but I already have a 26 July 21st July 2020 so I'm going to add something else to have a different name so you can't have two sheets with the same name so I've added the word test here so in this manner you need to pick up data from all the excel sheets all the forms that you may have created for that and uh, for the lectures you have taken so one by one you will have to populate all of those i will uh, stop this here and i will quickly gather all of them and i'll meet you after gathering so now we come back i have already collated all the attendances of the sheets that were scattered in the forms so i have got 17 july 20th july 21st july 21st july test 24th July um, and then 25th and 27th so I've got all these seven sheets with me in one Google sheet which is called July 2020 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this form by clicking on file download Microsoft Excel so it asks me whether it should open it or save it so I'm going to save it it's already selected if it's not you can click on save file and click on OK so it will take a little moment to download the file and in the download section you will be able to see this file. So this is the file that just got created TYCS SEM5 responses and if I open that in Excel I see that these are the sheets that I have got all the way from 17th July, 20th July, 21st, 21st test, 24th, 25th and 27th. So all my attendances are available here. So now what we need to do is we need to first add an empty sheet maybe in the beginning only. So I'm going to add an empty sheet. It's come somewhere in the middle. So I'll click and drag and put it in the front and I will rename this um, maybe I will call it July 2020 so which means that this has got the attendance of complete July so from all these places I am going to collate the data per student and put it here in July 2020 now the way you have to do this is there is a small formula that has to be put up now before that formula is put up what we need to do is First thing we need to do here in this empty sheet is we need to have the names of all these sheets here one after the other so to do that since it is a date I wouldn't advise you to copy it from here you'll maybe have to type it out yourself so the first date is 17 July 2020 so I'm going to just type it out here 17th July 2020 but I'm going to put a single quote in the beginning so just remember this that this is the important thing here we put a single quote now why we put a single quote here is because when we put a single quote this entire content becomes textual okay otherwise it is considered as a date and you will not be able to handle it in the formula that we are, that I'm going to use ahead so for that we need a textual matter here so I'm uh, putting the single quote here in the beginning now I'll just um, actually what I do is I just drag that is I copy it copies continuously but those are not the dates I'll just go and edit them so after 17th it is 20th July so I will just modify this uh, 18 to 20th July then the next one is 21st July there are two for 21st July so what I'm first one is 21st July the second one is 21 July and at the end there is the word test so I add that then the next one is 24, 25, 27. So next one is 24, 25 and 27. So in that sense, I've got here all the names of my sheets, micro, uh, uh, you know, the Microsoft uh, Excel sheets. I've got all those names available here exactly how it is here in the names of the sheets this should not be different we'll have to take care to do that then the next thing that we have to do is 
um, what I am doing is instead of using the children's role number, I am going to use their email ID. The reason being that um, the role number is something that they may write some way or some other way on another day. So uh, TYCS, he's written with capitals. 24 has written with capitals on this particular day on 25th. Maybe on another day, he or she may not have written with capital. So, uh, so I'm not sure uh, how the student writes in the pattern ahead in the days to come. So, but what I am sure about is that the email ID is going to be the same every single day. So for this purpose, uh, what I do is I pick up a day when maybe all the students are there. So I have such a date where all my 50 students were present. So I'm going to try, you know, copy from there all those and put it in the next column here. Now, why we need this is because we want to specify as to the fact that these are the, you know, students whose, uh, you know, uh, attendance that we want to collate. So this is where, so uh, this is where we want it all collected. Some of them may be absent on some day, may not be absent, may be present, but this is the, you know, universal set in a, in a, say, in a way you can say. So this, uh, from this area only, the students are going to enter their mail IDs further ahead. So this is the second thing that I do here. Now the third thing that is to be done is now the formula as such. Now what is the formula? The formula that has to be put is something that you might have to take a look here. Now what I have done is I have put this formula here. It's a long one. I will put it in the description of the video also. What it means here is uh, you know you have to use three functions which are embedded. I am not going to go into the detail of this. Please do take it down from the description directly and that is exactly what I am going to do here and I will just copy it from here and put it into the excel sheet here right in front of the email id. So I put it here it gives me an error that's okay because things have to be changed here so that is why it's giving me an error that is all right we'll see how to change uh, this formula so that it doesn't give us an error so what do we need here what it says is the explanation is that whatever is from a2 to a6 a2 to a6 is actually the data range that you want to count the specified value across the worksheets that means across the worksheets what we actually want counted is the email ids so this range A2 to A6 should actually define these email IDs. So what do I do? I click on this formula and when it comes in the bar above, I click and select only A2 to A6. Very carefully only A2 to A6. You select this and then on the my, uh, worksheet, I select that area which has got the email IDs one after the other and drag the whole thing down. So till the from the first student to the last student now A2 to A6 has become B2 to B51. This is my range where my uh, email IDs of my students are mentioned which have to be counted. So this is task number one. I have not completed this. We are still in the edit of this formula. I will go back and show you C2 to C4 this section C2 to C4 should ideally contain the that area where the sheet names have been listed. So in our excel sheet the sheet names have been listed from A2 to A8. So I am going to change that. C2 to C4 I am going to select this section and then select in my worksheet the area where the sheet names are mentioned. As I select you see that C2 to C4 became A2 to A8. So this is the second modification I did. The third thing that you have to mention here is the last E2 that's given here is actually the criteria that you want it to be based on, the counting to be based on. So one by one we want the criteria to be the email ID. So first time you want to count this student's email ID. Second time you want this student's email ID to be counted. So where is it kept? It's kept right next to this uh, cell. So instead of E2 here, I am going to make it just come and select here B2. So B2 is where it is and I click on enter. Now it's given me an error. Let's see what the error is. I think this extra space was the error. Yes. So there was an extra space there in 21st 
July which turned out to be the error so as soon as I removed that the count came so the student has attended once okay now the next thing is we need to copy this formula further down but before copying there's one small amendment that we need to make in front of a2's 2 we are going to put a dollar sign here before 8 also we are going to put a dollar sign same is the case for 2 and 51 of B in my case in your case it may be something different but this last criteria we will not put a dollar sign so we want it to shift as the counting goes down so we will just leave it like that now this has been modified now you can copy it further down so all I am going to do is click and drag all the way down and you will get the count so out of the seven lectures that I conducted this is the number that each student attended so this particular student attended the lecture seven times so another one attended five times and so on so this is how we can collate for the entire month so i hope you've understood uh, thank you so much for listening to this thank you